Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome in to Rover Sports. Today's a difficult day. Uh, difficult to process the situation. Uh, your mind's going a million miles an hour. Um, you know, in the last preseason game when Webb didn't play, you know, I just thought that it was because... I thought that it was because he's a backup quarterback and you want to keep your backup healthy because, you know, even Nate Sudfeld's not playing in the final preseason game for the Eagles. Backup quarterbacks are not playing. It's third and fourth stringers. So the fact that Lawletta and Tanny were playing in the final preseason game, I didn't give much credence to that decision. I have to admit that the people who told me that predicted that Webb might be getting cut or getting cut, I got to give credit. I did not see this thing coming with Davis Webb. Um, it's it's pretty damn sad. You know, Davis Webb is my favorite player. Uh, I'll tr I try to be as unbiased on him as possible, even though Davis Webb is probably the most inspirational player for me in the NFL. Everybody has players that inspire them to do certain things. And Davis inspires me to work on the channel, inspires me to work in my life with the way that with how he lives his life, you know, and getting to interview him was a big deal. And, you know, people that get involved in the media, they, they certainly have their biases. And uh, I'm a Giants fan for sure. And I'm certainly a Davis Webb fan. He's definitely my favorite player in the NFL, probably him and Eli Manning. Um, but not only for how he plays, but... You know, now in this certain day and age, off the field, you get to know guys on a personal level. You get to see how guys prepare, get to see how guys work. And, you know, at Texas Tech, Mahomes was the guy over Webb, so Webb had to deal with that adversity. Webb had to deal with his middle school coach playing him on B team and saying you will never be anything in football and you should just focus on hockey or baseball. So he had his middle school coach that was a doubter. Texas Tech was a doubter. And now the New York Giants and Dave Gettleman can be put in that crew as doubters that think that Davis Webb, they just released him. They just threw him to the wolves, threw him in the garbage can. He'll be nothing. That's what Gettleman and Shermer thought, that Davis Webb will be dog shit. You know, that Davis Webb will just be nothing. They just let him go. And the fact is about Webb is that, you know, the New York Giants, like even though they don't believe in Davis Webb, they, contrary to what I just said, they have given Davis Webb motivation, but they have also given Davis Webb a path. And the thing is, is that Shermer looked at Lawletta, Pat Shermer looked at Lawletta, Pat Shermer looked at Alex Tanny, and Pat Shermer decided that Kyle Lawletta is the guy that he wants to groom. And it makes sense. He selected Lawletta. Lawletta has a quicker release than Davis Webb. He's more mobile than Davis Webb. He processes faster. He's more accurate. There's a good chance that Lawletta is going to be a better quarterback in the NFL than Davis Webb. Um, both are really intelligent. Both are great workers. I think that both guys have a chance to be franchise starting quarterbacks. And I'm not going to move off of my Davis Webb prediction. I need to see Webb play in regular season games and I need to see him fail before I immediately can assume that he's another Paxton Lynch, another Christian Hackenberg, another bust. Because in the preseason, Webb didn't do that shitty. He went 14 out of 20 against the Lions. He came back straight. Strong. He played decently in the Jet game. He has he has above average arm strength. His mind, the way that he studies game planning, the way that he takes in information as a teammate, the intangibles and the and the and the intelligence is way off the charts. It's to an elite elite level. He's going to need to be a Tom Brady in the NFL. He's going to need to be a guy that has slow feet but that is able to maneuver in the pocket and win. And Webb's a guy that's never going to stop getting better. So this for Davis Webb is a minor setback for a major comeback. And as a New York Giants fan, I will tell you that when Davis Webb comes back as a starting quarterback to play the New York Giants and he lights the shit out of the Giants, I won't be there and I won't be crying when he does that. That's how much that Davis Webb means and that's how much of a fan that I truly am of the kid 
Um, it's kind of like a Tom Coughlin thing. Like you look at the Jacksonville Jaguars and when the Jaguars were playing the Steelers in the playoffs. It's funny because I didn't say that the Jaguars would do anything in the playoffs and I said that they would suck this year, right? I'm a Blake Bortles doubter like most of the internet is, okay? Which sucks for Blake Bortles. Um, But Tom Coughlin is over there and Tom Coughlin's our guy or Tom Coughlin certainly is my guy, certainly other Giants fans' guy. And Tom's now in Jacksonville. He's in the AFC. So, you know, Tom Coughlin isn't directly affecting a game as if he were a coach or a quarterback. Like, Davis Webb coming back to play the Giants would be, it would be something that you'd call cognitive dissonance. You'd you'd go through your processes in your head, and it would be a complicated situation. But um, odds are, it's still going to be fine. You know, people cheer for Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Josh Rosen in the NFL, and they're not going to be conflicting with your team all the time. Where Davis Webb goes most likely won't be conflicting with the New York Giants. It most likely won't be Washington, the Dallas Cowboys, okay? The point that I'm trying to say is that I can still be a Tom Coughlin fan and still support Jacksonville Jaguar football. Um, And I can still be a huge New York Giants fan. I still like the Shermer regime. I still like Dave Gettleman. But I need to say that the Odell Beckham decision, I am not on that side of history. I think that Odell needs to win a Super Bowl for it to be validated. I said that that was the wrong decision. I think today is a decision that is, am I going to say it's really wrong? I think it was wrong for the timing. I understand why Lawletta beat Webb, and I understand what the Giants are doing, okay? The Giants are giving Davis Webb an opportunity to leave and to make his career a better place. He had Eli Manning for one year. That one year, if Davis makes it to the Hall of Fame, Davis Webb will thank Eli Manning, and those two will probably be best friends. And it's a backup quarterback for the Giants, but the thing is that Davis Webb lives... I think he was roommates with Evan Ingram. He is hallmates with Evan Ingram right now. Sterling Shepard is really tight with Davis Webb. They live in the same building. Odell Beckham lives in the same building as Webb. Webb has contact throughout this entire team and throughout the entire offense. And now Eli Manning's best friend, his studying partner, a guy that Eli really likes to spend time with learning this new offense. Davis and Eli are best friends on this team. I don't think Eli's had a backup quarterback. Maybe David Carr. Maybe, I'm not even going to say Lorenzen was Eli's best friend. But I think David Carr was a really good friend of Eli Manning. It certainly wasn't Kurt Warner. And you can listen to his comments. But Eli's never had a friend like Davis Webb. And Lawlett is probably going to be a good friend. Alex Tanney's going to be a friend. Davis Webb is an exceptional friend. This move today fractures the locker room. It does. And is there a part of me that wants to see the Giants really suffer for this decision and 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 I want to be validated and being right that Webb is a Hall of Famer and better than Dak Prescott you betcha <coughs> for Webb my concerns on the field are the way he processes the way he thinks and I can understand why the Giants like Lawletta better um I can live with the decision that the Giants made I thought that the way it was done was poor I think that it was a little tone deaf going into the season <coughs> But they like Lawletta better. And the fact is, Tanny's not better than Webb, but they're saying to Webb, listen, Lawletta's second in line. You you don't want to be third in line. You're a young guy that has big aspirations. You're not Alex Tanny. You're not just teetering on being a retired quarterback. So go out and live your life. And we wish you incredible success. We wish that you're a starter in this league. You're going to be a starter in this league. And that's probably what Shermer told Davis Webb, is you're going to be a starter in this league. It's just that we believe in Lawletta, or it's just that this isn't the right place or time for you. So for Webb, listen, he doesn't have to wait behind Eli anymore. He doesn't have to. He's not going to be held captive by a coaching staff that likes Lawletta better than him. And now Davis Webb is free, I believe, to go where he decides or whoever claims him in waivers. Now, preferably where I'd want to see Webb go. 
this is the segment for Davis Webb now, where I would want to see Webb go. And I'm still going to be a Giants fan, but wherever Webb goes, I'm going to support. And that week is going to be very challenging on me. You know, it's like a family member playing against a team that you absolutely love. And for the New York Giants, when they had Ben McAdoo, uh, you know, I was rooting for them to lose games last year and get rid of that guy because I didn't like what he stood for and I didn't like the way he treated the team, but I also didn't like the way that the direction of the program was going. And there's some fans out there that will never root for the Giants to lose a football game. But if Davis Webb's playing in a game and he needs to win it, and if Davis Webb balls out and gives a big middle finger to Shermer and Gettleman, I won't hate that one bit at all. Uh, now, am I going to root for Lalletta to do well as a Giants fan? Yes, I'm going to be a loyal Giants fan. I'm still going to root for the New York Giants to be successful. Um, but it hurts when your favorite player, when you believe the savior is there and your franchise does not decide to go in the direction that you decide. And when you take a huge loss, like today is kind of a lot. Lo- today is a big loss for the Davis Webb fan club, for the New York Giants. It's a loss. You expected Davis to be the guy. You expected Davis to be the knight in shining armor for this team. And Shermer went ahead and chose Lawletta. And it hurts. And it hurts badly. And it sucks. And it pisses you the F off. Best places for Webb to go. Number one, Tampa Bay. If that Jameis Winston video is on tape, Jameis is not playing another down in the NFL anymore if that Arizona tape's on video. Jameis had his issues at Florida State. He has issues right now with with the Arizona case. (coughs) Fitzpatrick is playing. Organization's in a little bit of turmoil. Maybe Webb can step in there, beat out Fitzpatrick, win a couple of games there, and take hold of the job. Tampa Bay is a very open quarterback competition. Number two. Maybe... The best decision. Maybe better than Tampa Bay. Because Winston and Webb, maybe Winston has a bigger upside than Webb. I still think Winston's a damn good football player. I think Winston could be a franchise guy. He's matured a lot in his two years since the incident. Um, He's lived clean for two years. So I think Tampa might even want to roll if Winston now be smart. If I were Webb, I think Webb's better than Dalton. I think Webb's better than Alex Smith. So... Um, but you have to look at the organizational structure, okay? You don't want to send Webb out to a place that has a shitty owner, a shitty head coach, and shitty personnel decisions. Like, just like Cincinnati would be a place where he'd rot, a place where he might die uh, in terms of his career, okay? He might just be behind Dalton and tone-deaf coaches. You want to send him to a place that is very active, a great working environment, and there's one place that comes to mind, and there's one guy who I'd love Davis Webb to meet, and that's Tom Brady, New England Patriots. I think Webb going to New England and preparing there behind Brady would and getting the Garoppolo treatment will be so beneficial to his career, it will be absolutely fantastic. And Brady might play another five years, but in two years, Webb's probably going to get a good deal and he's going to get a cushy gig. And when somebody, when there's an opportunity, when there's when there's an opening at quarterback somewhere, whether it be in the middle of the season or the beginning of the season, I want to see Webb get a full slate of action. I want to see Webb play at least 12 games of regular season football before I judge whether Webb's going to be a failure. And I'll tell you whether Webb is a failure. I will tell you that. There's been players that I've liked coming out of college that have been total failures. Johnny Manziel, I don't believe in Manziel. Um, And I liked Johnny coming out of college. So all I ask, all I want is for Webb to get a shot, wherever that may be. Even as painful as as it is to say, would you rather Webb retire or go to the Eagles and play football? That would be the toughest of toughest decisions. I'd probably want for him to at least get a chance to play. Um, So I understand what the Giants were doing. It hurts a lot. It really does. You you probably can tell that this one stinks. Um, And listen, for all those that are saying Webb's a failure, I believe that Lawletta is a very, very good player. And there's a chance that Lawletta is better than Webb. And even though Lawletta's stats were not good, even though he doesn't have a flashy arm, the way his timing is better than Webb, his processing is better than Webb, and he gets rid of the ball quickly. Lawletta is not Jimmy G. He's not Tua, but he reacts quickly. 
and he has a little Trubisky in him. He can be a good quarterback at the NFL level. He has a little Case Keenum in him. He's a good quarterback, and he's great for Shermer's offense. Webb would be better in an offense that's aggressive. So let's see Webb either go up to Buffalo or Tampa and battle that sucker out, or he could go to maybe a place like the 49ers behind Jimmy G, or he can go to a place like L.A., and he can have a great, great coaching staff, and he can learn a shit ton for when he's going to be a hell of a coach uh, and for when he is first going to be a franchise quarterback in the NFL. So believe in Webb, believe in him for sure, and uh, it's tough that he's off of my favorite team, but Eli hopefully can play two years anyway, and uh, when Kyle gets in the game, um, we're going to cheer for Lawletta. I'm going to cheer for Kyle Lawletta. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't hold it against him that he's from the where the Eagles play. I can't hold it against him that he decided to be an Eagles fan. Um, I think that Lawletta will decide now that he can be a New York Giant, and hopefully he will start to resent the Eagles and their fans as, it, as, it, as he decides to grow. Um, but is a good player, and I'm sure we'll get past that. And... Um, And yeah, like it's a bigger deal to me that he grew up an Eagles fan because I couldn't imagine ever doing it. Um, But, you know, for Lawletta and the Giants and Pat Shermer, Pat Shermer's also an Eagles fan and his family's from here too. Uh, So again, there you go. But um, anyhow, it's a tough day. Webb's, this is not the end for Davis Webb. This is just the beginning for Davis Webb. Believe, believe, believe. Believe, 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 believe. Thank you. See you guys. Believe, believe.